Hi there, it's Josh, and I'm here at All Flutes Plus, and today in our Demystifying the Flute series, we are going to talk about how a two-foot-long tube fits in a tiny case like this, and I'm going to tell you all about the different parts of the flute. And lastly, we have the very end of the flute, which is called the foot joint. It's a cute little, this happens to be a C foot joint, as we've made a, another video about. And the foot joint fits over that little thin tenon on the end of the body joint, and it has the same, the same assembly of ribs and posts and rods and keys, but of course, far fewer of them. Uh, this only has two keys on it, plus, well, three actually, because there's the E-flat key on the front. Like the body, the foot joint also has rings that are added to it, usually for decorative effect, but the foot joint has its own version of the barrel, and you'll see on most student flutes, um, it, there's a ring here on this end, but there is not a ring here, but you'll notice there's a ridge. And if you look inside, you can see that this is actually a sleeve that has been soldered over the end. And that is the part that fits over the tenon. And that, funnily, is called the foot joint box, even though it's round. Now on more expensive flutes, you will see that there is also a ring here on this end of the foot joint box, but that's usually not something you see on less expensive flutes. And that completes the flute. The three parts together, the head joint, the body, and the foot joint, make a flute.